right, let's see. That's one, two, and three. Whew. There we go, that's exactly three meters deep. Wow. I think that should do for today's work, yeah. Huh. Huh. That's odd. I haven't really seen anyone today. None of those high school children. Not, not to mention, not just the high school children, I haven't really seen anyone. It's been awfully quiet. I hope they're all okay. You know, maybe the high school children got the flu or something. Oh. Oh, no. I certainly hope their mother didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. She works way too hard for that family. Hmm. I suppose I should go check on them. Hello? Hello? Is, is anyone in here? Hello? Yeah, I'm not in here. Goodness gracious, Isaac! It's it, it's been awfully quiet today. Is, is everything all right? You know, I, I haven't seen any of you guys. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, perfectly fine, and Danny, one hundred percent. Are you okay? It's just wonderful. Well, but that, that's really good to hear. You know, I thought something might have been wrong, considering I haven't seen any of you today. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Perfectly fine. Nothing's weird going on at all. Lucy and Aaron are just uh busy. Yeah, I think that that's it. Busy at the hockey rink. And uh. What about your lovely mother? She's in the hairdressers. Oh, and uh, your father? He's helping them. Really? I was really, I wasn't aware that Chase knew how to play. Yeah, Dad's great. He's teaching them all sorts of new moves with pucks and sticks and things and, and, and stuff. If they're really all gone, then why are you here? I, um, I, I forgot my, uh, my pants. Yeah, I forgot my pants. Your pants? Yeah! But, uh, I have them now, so everything's good, so I guess I'll just go back to the hockey rink then. Just, uh, one more question for you, Isaac. No more questions, gotta go by. Thanks for talking, I'll see you later. Alright, bye! Got my pants, we're all good, satisfied, concluded. Right, everything's good, bye. You're being weird, not being. I, I promise. Weirdo. Such a peculiar child. Perhaps I'll go see Mrs. Isaac at the hairdresser. She may have more information for me than. Well, the child did. Such a delight to see. Alright, onward. Let's see. 14 pairs of scissors, 25 combs, 10 brushes. Oh, you guys, I have an entirely too much hair dye. I must do something. I need to get rid of this sooner. I have nowhere else to stock it. Oh, what do I do? Uh, hello? Is Mrs. High School here? Hello? Ah, oh, new customer! You must be the archaeologist and paleontologist. Dr. Bernard B. Humorous is the name. Elton. Elton Eagleton. What can I do for you, Dr. Humorous? Oh, well, I, I actually don't need any assistance. I was just looking for, um, Maria Icicle. Perhaps you know her? Oh, yes. She hasn't been in today. Now, that is some lovely fur you have there. Would you be interested in a dye job? What? No, no, that doesn't make any sense. Isaac said she would be here. Well, Isaac says a lot of things. Now, let's get you shampooed. We can start with your hair. No, 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 no. I, I don't need a haircut. I, I simply want to know where everyone is. We don't have to cut it, just dye it. What, what is going on here with all you people? First, the whole town is missing, and now you want to dye my hair? If you really must know, they're at a party. A party? Yes, and you weren't invited because you don't dye your hair. Now, please, let me get a look at it. Yeah, well, hold on, hold on. Then how come you weren't there? Oh, today was inventory day. Far too much work to be done. Well, surely they would have not intentionally forgotten about me. Well, you know, the, the whole town's gone to the party. Why, why wouldn't I? Hmm, perhaps. Perhaps not. You know, Hank's diner is still open. He caters all social events around here. He's probably going to, you know, give you some more information than I'm willing to. Hmm. Then to the diner I go. Well, wait. What about your dye job? Well, um, perhaps another time. Uh, thank you for the information, good sir. What am I going to do? Perhaps the Icicles children would like to jazz up their look. I know Isaac would. Excuse me, my good sir, but I am looking for Hank. Might you know him? Indeed I do! It's me! Hank Barrington! What can I do for you today, Dr. Humorous? Um, my apologies. Have we met? Yes! First day in town! Oh, yes, you're... You're that chap Walter brought me to. You were shown up by a mere child. I wouldn't say shown up, I would say more um, educated by by uh, someone young of life. Mm. Well, 
If a child can make a better recipe than you, that doesn't really bode well for your diner, now does it? No, 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 don't knock it till you try it. I serve the best food in town. Everyone says so. If everyone says so, then how come no one's here? Well, there's a little shindig going on down today. I'm, I'm heading over to it right after my shift, actually. So there was a party I wasn't invited to. No, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, no, I, 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 so I am invited. So I can go over now. But where is it? Uh, well, uh, well, just say, I, I plan a solo ship today. And you could do a little friendly competition with me. Why don't you name a dish, any dish you like, and I will make it. Right? Th and, then, and then you will try it for yourself. And then we can really see if my food is as good as I say it is, or if it's, uh, as you say, uh, poor. Hmm. No, 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 no. A scholar like me, you know, I, 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 no, no. I could not do it. You see, a scholar like myself is too refined of a palate for an amateur cook like you. Try me. All right. Shrimp fettuccine. <laughs> That is one of my best. To make this dish, we would need the following items. Shrimp, garlic, basil, oregano, salt, pepper, chili flakes, if you're feeling adventurous, some mixed onion or garlic powder in addition to this, a lemon, fettuccine noodles, milk, flour, Parmesan cheese, spinach, and again, if you're feeling adventurous, mozzarella. To begin, let's marinate the shrimp and our lemon juices and spices. All right, let's start with the lemon juice. Ah, yes. Then we'll move on to some spices. Maybe some red chili peppers. Let's throw them in there. Oh, that looks good. Let's also throw in some salt and pepper. We'll add some salt in there as well. This is more for manual job. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's add some, uh, what is this, oregano? Yeah, some oregano would be nice. Uh, let's not forget the basil. The basil is pretty important, too. And then finally, if you're feeling adventurous, minced onion or garlic powder, or whatever you choose, is up to you. Now in a large pot of boiling water, let's add the pasta. Make sure you let it boil for eight minutes. While that's boiling, we're gonna cook some shrimp. Now in a frying pan, Add some olive oil, and once you oiled up the pan, you're going to add the marinated shrimp and let it cook for around eight minutes, stirring it occasionally and checking up on it. Once we're done, we're going to pour the shrimp onto a plate and use the same pan for our sauce. Once you remove the shrimp out of the skillet, then we need to add the sauce. We add flour, and now we're going to add two cups of milk. So we're just going to pour it straight in there, and we'll stir until this gets rather thick. Now it's important to not get rid of all the juices that are pre-existing inside there. That's where all the extra flavor comes from, from the seasonings and the lemon juice, etc., etc. After it finishes stirring and gets thick, we're going to add a small little handful of spinach. Now, to each their own, if you want to add more spinach, that's on you. If you want less, that's also on you. It's your choice. You're making this as you want to go. Oh, how silly of me! I completely forgot the Parmesan and mozzarella cheese. Now it's up to you how much you want to pour in there. Me personally, I like to add just a little bit to get it thick in there and to add flavor. We're gonna add Parmesan and some mozzarella. I've taken the liberty of going ahead and mixing the noodles, the shrimp, and the sauce all together. It's very important to mix it. You see, every single bite you take, you want to taste the sauce, the shrimp, and the noodle equally. You don't want one flavor to overpower the other. And that's how I make my shrimp fettuccine. Well, it does smell quite delectable. But I can't eat right now. I'm too concerned with finding this party. Where did you say it was? You know, Bernard, why don't you go head over to the library? I think Walter would love to talk to you. But the party? I am invited, aren't I? Walter knows far more about this than I do. You know, why, why not go talk to him? Besides, I have to close up shop, and I, I don't really have much time to talk as it is. All right, fine, if you insist. But I will be taking points off of your review for this next time I come to this quaint little diner. Yes, Noelle's putting the final touches on the cake right now. Yes, Leonard, I will bring you with us tonight. Well, if you must, you can come and see it. <laughs> no, I'm sure it will be perfect. Hello? Hello? It's, is anyone in there? Leonard, I've got to go. Bernard just walked in the door. Of course he won't come early. 
Hang on, I, I, I'll stop. Okay, okay, okay. Bye, Leonard. Yes, over here, Bernard. Hmm? Oh, oh, there you are, Walter. You have no idea how much a relief it is to see you. It's been such a hassle trying to find anyone today. Well, I imagine they're all busy doing their own thing. Either that or a party. What? <laughs> what party? Don't play coy with me, Walter Barrington. Elton and Hank have already told me there's a party going on, and I know I'm not invited. So what's the jig? Well, uh, wh why would we have a party and not invite you? Well, maybe because I'm not a local, or I haven't spent enough time introducing myself to people. I don't know. It's it's fine. I've come to terms with it. It's okay. You guys don't want me involved in your customs, and I'm okay with that. Well, of course we want you invited in, in our customs, Bernard. Well, you don't have to spare my feelings, Walter. If I'm not around here, I get it. What? No! You've been here for the better part of two months now. You're working very hard to preserve our town's culture. Of course you are more than welcome to participate in it. In fact, I'm sure you'll be very surprised to find the real reason why you haven't been seeing people around. Hmm. Why might that be? Patience, Bernard. Patience. All will be revealed momentarily. Well, surely. I can't be the only one who noticed how cryptic your whole family's being. <laughs> I like to think of it as spontaneous. Walter! 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 Oh! 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 He is still here. Did you let him go? Or, oh, oh, no. Is, is the whole surprise ruined? Please tell me that it's not ruined. It's not ruined, I promise. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Bernard, you have no idea how glad I am to see you. I'm sorry? Have, have we met each other? I'm the mayor of this town. Oh, yes! Leroy! If I, for the last time, my name is Leonard. It always has been Leonard. It always will be Leonard. I am the mayor of this town, and I am perfectly ca- <clears throat> Let's just say you were hungry after today. I see. Mayor Leon may have a rough day. You know what? It doesn't matter. Walter, you and I will go on ahead. Dr. Humorous, I have a surprise for you. do say. Is a blindfold really necessary? Yes, blindfolds are always necessary in surprises of this caliber. Fine, fine, fine. Well, how much further, Lawrence? For the last time, it is Leonard! And we're, we're here, basically. Alright, is everyone ready? Okay, you can take your, uh, your blindfold. In three, two, one! Surprise! Yeah, 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 yeah! You were all supposed to say surprise with me, and you <laughs> failed! You failed at your job! Surprise! Uh, surprise, surprise. there. Surprise! Yeah. Surprise! surprise. Yay! Yeah, yeah. You failed. Gonna disgrace us this town's disappointment. It's because of me. Uh, what, what, what is all this? Well, your, your surprise party. Are, are you surprised? But, uh, yes. And I've never seen this building before. Well, of course you haven't. It's brand new. And I built it myself. The mayor and Otis have been working on this build for the last three weeks. I... I, I don't understand. Ah, well, remember a couple weeks ago how you were telling me that you don't have a home anywhere? No, 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 th th this can't be. Well, welcome to your home. And if you like it, that's great. And if not, then um, I'm sure Otis could fix it and make it the way you want it. You know, and uh, you can... Yeah, you can come in any way you would like it. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh... Surprise! <laughs> We planned the welcoming party for you exactly how you wanted it last time! Yeah, even down to the fireworks! But Mr. Otis says I can't set those off inside! I hope you like it! We at Sunshine Party Business care very deeply about our customer satisfaction. Lou, for the last time, it's epic parties! I brought it to the council! And the council said, well, I don't know what they said, but they said something! I... I, I don't know what to say. The windows are beautiful and this house is... It's immaculate. It's perfect. Well, it's not completely finished yet. We, we still have, um, I think another three weeks after, uh, but there's enough space for it to live in now. And, uh, if you want to expand, I'm sure I'll just be more than happy to help. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you, Leonard. You remember my name. You do know my name. Uh, someone who would go through almost as much trouble is worth remembering. I'm sorry if it took me so long. So, um, what do you say? You want to call Snowden your new home base? Indeed. I... I think I will. Well then, 
Let the welcoming party begin! And everyone say hello to our newest guest! And actually say hello this time, you know, because that's polite. Unlike the surprise thing, that was really rude. But yeah, our new resident, Bernard B. Humorous! Yay!